Hey guys, it's me Narelle here and welcome back to a new video. Um, I recently was requested to actually just reply back to a comment I got on one of my recent videos pretty much saying, hey, do you have any tips on how to find and help others find their art styles? <laughs> Let me get this right um, so you guys won't be confused. So um, I actually asked if I could just make a video on this because I feel like a comment can only get so far because other people who haven't seen that video may not see my reply to that um, request. So I'm like, I'm just going to make it a video because a video can prove so, so much than a comment can. And luckily the person said yes to the video idea. So I'm happy because this is actually a really popular topic on the art realm of YouTube. So I finally get to put my two cents into this topic. And throughout my videos, I actually did kind of explain what I thought about it. But since I can have time to just fully dedicate myself to this topic um, in a video, I might as well take advantage of it. So um, I'm just going to get this out the way. Um, the picture you're seeing me color is of a random boyo. I made him a demon or a monster, whatever you want to make him. That's who he is. And I decided to do a different way of coloring. Um, I'm not one to put down a color and color on top of it. But since I've been doing a lot of highlighter artwork, this is what I'm living for. So I did make his skin in the base tone gray and I colored on top of it because I wanted him to have a dead look and then I did add some blood near the end I didn't add a lot because I don't know how much blood a lot of people can take so I kind of added a little minor blood but that's pretty much the sum of the artwork um, this is a um, coloring page on my DA and I know I'm famous for saying it's gonna be down below and it's never down below but I will make sure guys it is down below and I will try to go back on my older videos to kind of put all of the links down below to that as well So you guys can color my artwork because a lot of you have shown interest in coloring my line art So you can go crazy and color him whatever colors you would like <laughs> You don't have to stay with the colors I chose just color him with what inspires you to color him <laughs> So that's it for the artwork So now I'm going to get into my thoughts of how people can find their art styles I think all of us artists well all of us older artists can mutually agree that finding your art style is not relevant when you actually start drawing nor is it something that you should pay attention to um, all of us say that we all have an art style when you start drawing that's your art style it just hasn't grown to a full adult yet that's why if you practice hard enough it can grow up fast Faster. But if you guys want my tips and my tricks of how you can go about it, just keep listening to me ramble. <laughs> so my first tip is to actually get a visual library. A lot of people love Pinterest. I can't stand Pinterest. It's just hard for me to use and I just don't like something that's a lot more steps than I'm that I want <laughs> so I take advantage of the Instagram save feature because since I'm on Instagram a lot I really want to have a place on Instagram that I freaking love where I could go back and look at images that I really liked but I couldn't save it and now that I can't save it I'm like boy I'm gonna put all them gorgeous men in my save feature and I will have a little thing on the screen showing what I have because I'm a visual learner so having a visual would help a lot than having a text thing for you to read so gather up your favorite artists, your favorite artworks, your favorite people you like to look at, put it all in one place so you can just look at it and get inspired. So that's my tip number one. Tip number two is to go to that visual journal and fully analyze it. Do not analyze it so hard that you're just like, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Analyze what stands out to you and what doesn't stand out to you. If you see that you like how a person drew their eyes, write it down. Say, hey, this is kind of what I want to reference off when I try to get my eyes to look the way I want them to look. And for a dislike, you could put 
put down, hey, maybe I just can't draw hair that way. So just put down, hey, don't try to draw hair with lots of details. So you don't have to make them hard dislikes. You can make them just things that you're just not comfortable with as of right now and then later down in the road you're going to be like whoa the dislike i had three years ago i can totally put it as my like if you kind of get what i'm saying just kind of analyze what you want and then later on you can improve that um once you grow your art skills so yes so tip number three is to purchase you a sketchbook because a sketchbook is super important i didn't know what a sketchbook was until i was in eighth grade so i was late to the party with sketchbooks but i love the idea of it because you can freely just jot down all of your ideas in your head in one place and you could always just go back to your sketchbook and be like wow i drew that like oh my gosh that idea was actually really cute um i can't believe my oc had that look or whatever it's like it's memories you can look back on so that's the reason why i always recommend sketchbooks please get one and please collect them as well so you can go back and look through your journey and my fourth tip I, that i honestly can say is my last one is to just have fun with art um having a art style is not the biggest thing in the world you guys will notice that you improve over time but just looking for that one concrete thing that you can call your own is not important because the way you draw now may change five years later so does really finding an art style matter no because you always improve i know a lot of people seem that art styles are our identity and the art world because you can easily recognize people through their art styles but i do not recommend getting a art style just because you want to have identity and you want people to know you by that thing our identity in the art world is not how we have our drawings looking but our personality and the love that we put into them so so if people can get your feelings based off what you convey in your artwork, they'll see this is this person, this is who they are, and this is why they draw the way they draw. If you kind of get what I'm saying? So all in all, just have fun with your artwork. Don't worry about getting an art style. It will grow <laughs> with you. But if you guys are just looking for ways that you can become more concrete in what you want your art to look like, um, just look at all the people you are inspired by do not copy their stuff please for the love of god don't copy their stuff but just draw draw what inspires you about what they do and i'm pretty sure if you keep doing that you will get a look of your art um that matches theirs one day but just have fun so that's really all i have to say about this topic honestly i didn't think i would have to say that much but i just wanted to explain I just wanted to explain myself a little bit more further because when I do my regular videos I can only hint at so much because the time is running out but now that I do my audios separate from my videos I can kind of time my videos based off what I say so I think that works a lot better for me um video wise but um if you like this video give it a like comment down what you thought of it and also comment down tips and tricks that helped you get to where you are because the art community of youtube is a community it's not for people to be like i got this this way i'm not going to tell you how i did this because i think that's just very selfish on people's parts to be like no that's mine is mine only go away you're not going to get what i have because it's just selfish way of thinking we're all here to inspire others and to help others grow in their craft that they want and i just feel like we just need to make the art community a better freaking place because it's about time that we get back to the way it was before people got very popular based on numbers back then it was a community it was a family and everyone cared about each other equally and not because their sub count is higher that means you'd be friends with that person no that doesn't matter i could spend a whole video and three months on that one topic but just please just help everybody out guys that's all we freaking need is a little bit of help and love and this world would be a better place 
so yeah that's it so i will see you guys in my next video and thank you guys so so much as for all the love on my oc videos and thank you guys so so much as for all the love on my regular videos like my art videos and my vlogs i really do appreciate you um i don't think i tell you guys that enough but i really love you guys your comments is what makes me get through work all the time reading them at work and it makes me get through my days a lot better so i do appreciate you and i love you really from the bottom of my heart so i will get going and i will see you in my next one all right bye guys